Hello. Welcome to Debbie Loves Designing. Well, I'm just admiring this lovely pearl ring. Well, not real pearl, but you know, um, wire wrapped silver ring that I made. Just admiring it on my hand. So I thought I'd show you how to make one. Um, I've got a variety of beads, but I think I'm going to use this pink bead, I think, because pink is my favorite color. I did try a bigger bead, which you can try, but it was, I don't know, it looked a bit funny. Well, maybe you might like that, but um, I quite like this uh, wire wrap. Ring. So the ingredients that you're going to need are a ruler, maybe, or you can guess the size, a ruler. Um, you're going to need some 20 gauge wire copper or silver this is silver plated wire but you can use copper or anyone but this is 22 gauge jewelry making wire i'm going to cut a piece off of it you're going to need um these chain nose pliers these flat nose pliers you might or might not need it but just have it there if you've got one and cutters and obviously the beads of your choice and also a ring mandrel but if you haven't got a ring mandrel you could just use something round you could even use your finger um, or anything kind of round like this and also you'll need a sizer to size the ring but if you don't know what size if you know the size that you're going to use you can get maybe a ring that you already have and kind of put it there like that you, yeah you can measure this ring put it on the ring mandrel and get a felted pen well or could be a normal pen and just um mark where so you mark the size so what we'll start by doing is getting out the wire i'm i'm using 30 centimeters of wire but it, you can use more or less. It just depends on how you want the ring to look. Um, just measure it with me ruler here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm using about 30 centimetres. I've just measured it. I'm using 30 centimetres, but you can use more or you can use less. It just depends how much wraps you want of, of the ring. Because there's a lot of wraps, so you might just want a couple of wraps or... Yeah. So that's what I like. It's quite a variety of um, ways you want. So I'll, I'll let me just chop some off. I'll chop, chop me wire off and then I'll just kind of straighten a bit. It's a bit bendy. And then what I'll do is pick up my bead. I think I'll, yeah, I'll use this pretty pink bead. Pick up my bead and then all you do is thread it on. I've no, got it yeah yeah just thread it on like that and go into the center go in this go in the middle and when you get into the get the meat the bead the bead in the middle like so bend the wire so it should look like this a necklace isn't it <laughs> yeah so kind of bend it like so and then bend bend here and bend here so that the bead is in the middle and secure right so i think i'm going to do it the size of my my ring so i'll just put a bit of just at the bottom ring so i just put a little mark there so i know what size i want the ring and i'm using a black felt tip pen because what's happened is i've you i've made um rings before and i've marked them and i don't want to go on the wrong one so this is a black felt tip so maybe when you're marking the size of the ring maybe do it in different colors so you know that one was that one or you might remember where it was anyway but say you got you know you can mark there with pink so oh, i'm using the pink mark today or or maybe you just mark it and you kind of know where you was but just in case you end up sort of going down there by you know these things can happen so what you do is just take the open up the wire and press it onto the I've bent that bit sort of so I just straighten it back out right I've bent it on here okay you bend it bend it right on here and then what you do is you take your hand and you just put one 
piece of wire on top straighten that out and another piece the other piece of wire at the bottom here so just let's just go back to where that line is so one piece of wire at the top one piece of wire at the bottom so the, this top wire turn it like so and then the the wire that's at the bottom move it up i'm going to go nice and slowly so move that up and a round and when you move it around go under the previous one so just bring this here i'm going to hold it right so get the bottom one the bottom one and wrap under go under we bring it nearer go under the previous one and go up like that okay hold it right get the bottom one get the bottom one pull him get him and then go under like that so you're kind of going in a circle like go got him there and then you see this piece here go there and then but don't use too much because we need a bit to wrap so i'm going to do go last and you see this piece of wire go under so this piece of wire that's in my hand this piece go under the previous one all right and then this one go like that under the previous one right so stop now because we need these two tails one's shorter than the other but that doesn't matter so all you do is take it off now take it off okay so you're going to see that you've got this nice pattern around the ring so all you're going to do is bring this long piece of wire and pull it under like that and then you're going to take this piece and pull it under like that push it through and also you can take your if you want your round nose pliers and then kind of pull it so you're making so that you're making a nice pattern then you're going to just push it downwards. You can use your round nose pliers and, and have it next to the, well, we don't have to have it next to it or you can have it, have it next to it. You can have it very near to it or just a little gap in between. Then you're gonna to go to the other side because you want the, the twirl pattern to look the same. So you can just bend it pull it through to pull it a bit nearer like that and I just curl that I think I'll just bring it a little bit nearer because I want it to look the same and then just turn that again bring it a little bit nearer right so that they look even see there's three there and there's three there right okay so they look nice and even now so turn back round and obviously we're not going to want these so what we're going to do is pick up our pliers sorry that's my cat Alice she wants the pliers and you're going to chop it near Then we're going to chop off this tail because it's far too long. Chop off this tail here and to the back and then just chop this off. And then I think I'll put it back on the mandrel so that I can kind of play with it a bit more. So you'll see that 
these sides are quite sharp and we don't want that so you'll pick up your chain those pliers and then just pinch it in turn it and give it a pinch in I think I'll give it another little snip that there I'm just gonna snip it a little bit more because these edges are sharp that's why it's and that's why it's on the outside all right so I'll pick up my flat nose pliers and just pinch it in And then just pinch it in a little bit more. Like that. There. And then go to the other side now. And then I think I'll move these hoops in a little bit. So you can adjust them by just moving them in. So, just going to pinch this in. All right, it's been pinched in. And then I'm going to just press it so that there's no sharp edges. All right, so I see that, just check that both sides are equal. Both sides of the little twirls are equal. And if they've got any, if they're like gaps or anything, you can always just push push it together like push some of the twirls together like that so it's nice and even there and I've put it back on the mandrel so I can kind of straighten it up and squeeze these bits together just to I mean it's all right with the gap but just you know just close it in together like so so nice pattern I like how that's turned out and um, please keep in mind, the more wraps you do, the smaller the ring will be. So, that's I'll just straighten it out nicely. So, I'm quite pleased with this. Now, all I've got to do is try it on. So, there we go. I love how that's come out. So, I've got a pink one, pink ring, and I've got a white ring. So, yeah, I love that. So, just experiment. Use different size beads if you want. I didn't really think this one... I mean, you might want the ring a kind of a more extravagant and bigger bead. So, you can try that. You can, I've, I've tried square beads before. Pattern beads a bit bigger and pattern beads and things like that. And I've made one before in this red. So, that came out quite nice. But, um, if the bead is too tiny, it won't really work because it kind of gets lost between all these twirls and um i tried it with one of these but that that it, it kind of got lost because it was too flat so you need a more of like a roundy bead or a square bigger bead but not too small so thank you so much for taking time out to watch my channel if you've got any comments any questions please put them down below if you like the channel please uh, press the like button which is the uh, the thumbs up please click that if you like my channel please consider subscribing I try and do one do a video every week once or twice a week I, I try <laughs> and um, please consider subscribing uh, please like please please share to anyone else who fancies making some fancy jewellery and also I've got my link of my Etsy shop because I make lots of uh, affordable feminine handmade jewellery. I'll put the link below. And I'm more, I'd say I'm more uh, on Instagram than Pinterest. So I'll put my links below if you want to follow me. And thank you so much. Bye for now.